Hey everyone, Pragyan here, a first year MBBS student at Ames New Delhi and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we'll be talking about the most efficient strategies to score full marks in physics. So let's begin. The first and the foremost step is that you shouldn't fear physics. There are students saying that physics is tough, hai, difficult, hai, questions solve nahi hote hai, without even giving it a try. So first of all, get rid of this thought. Because most of the time, the one stopping you from achieving your goals is you yourself. And physics is a beautiful subject if solved in the proper manner. Needless to say, NCRT should be the primary book for your need preparation. But that doesn't mean that NCRT should be studied first for a particular chapter. The order of studying should be first your class notes, then your coaching material and then finally NCRT. But if you pay attention to your class lectures, then half of the job is already done. And for theoretical chapters, like the ones in class 12 part 2, you should focus more on NCRT. If you want a detailed video on how to study a particular chapter from physics NCRT, then you can drop it in the comments. The next step is solving the PYQs of need for sure. And if you still get time, you can also try the PYQs of JE mains. But in the recent years, as in 2021, the difficulty level of the questions asked in NEED and JE mains has become almost the same. So there is no harm in trying and attempting the JE mains PYQs as well. Coming on to formula listing. So under this, you can create a notebook in which you can write the formulas. But not all the formulas, the ones which you have a tendency to forget. And you can use this notebook as a quick revision tool before an exam. Coming on to timed practice of questions. So as we all know that we are talking about physics. So question practice forms an integral part of it. But you should also put stress on the word timed here. That is whenever you are practicing questions, you should keep a stopwatch in front of you so that you can keep a watch on your speed. It's perfectly fine to have a slow speed in the beginning, but with rigorous practice, you can increase your speed easily. After all, time is the most important and critical factor in the final exam. Talking about short tricks. So as you all know, there are n number of ways to solve a particular numerical in physics, but you have to target and aim for the shortest and the fastest way. Let's understand this point with the help of an example. So we have a question here that reads as the equation of a projectile is y equals to ax minus bx square. Its horizontal range is. Now one of the method to solve this question is that we compare this equation with the equation of trajectory of projectile and then we use the formula for range to calculate it out. But a better and a shorter method would be equating this to 0. Solving which we'll get two values for x. One will be x equals to 0 and the other will be x equals to a by b. Now seeing this diagram, we can say that x equals to 0 is this point and x equals to a by b is this point. And this point is nothing but r comma 0 that is range comma 0. So easily we can say that the range of this projectile will be a by b. This was just an example, but you can find a short trick for almost every numerical in physics. Talking about a quick way of revision and paper attempting strategy, now that the NEET examination pattern has been changed, we will discuss these topics in the upcoming videos. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Signing off, bye bye.